this artwork is called Art Bin, and it's a South London art gallery. It's a, a huge uh, recycling facility. It's about five metres high by about 15 metres long and about eight metres wide. And it's a repository for artists' failures, basically. You never get to see artists' failures. They're always siphoned out before they get to the gallery or museum. So this is kind of things that artists have in their studios, knocking about, they might paint over them, or they're kind of intrigued by them, or they're things that they might take up space and they want to get rid of them, or they're things that, you know, that the technique hasn't worked or formally they haven't worked. Like for my ones, I've got some portraits that I drew last year and they don't look like the subjects, so that's why I threw mine away. We've got Julian Opie's and there's a Michael Craig Martin Damien Hurst, Julian Waring's got some um, sign pieces, but they're the Italian uh, sign version, so they're just they're written in Italian and they're, they're based in Naples, and she never thought they worked as well. So she's had those for the last 15 years. <laughs> Gary Hume, he's got these paint pots that basically he made a sculpture out of, and he's had it for about eight years, and every now and again he'd like revisit it and look at it again. I think, oh, quite like that, but he never showed it. So, all, all, I mean, li literally all this work would never normally get to see the light of day. So it's obviously an old dialogue to have with an artist, could I have your failures, in a sense, because some people just won't give them up to you. And it's for understandable reasons. And I looked at all sorts of permutations about how the art bin might manifest itself within the space. And obviously I like something that's physically confrontational. So there's only like a two-metre gap between the bin and the wall so it kind of presses people up against the wall and it's made out of see it's see-through and it's polycarbonate and steel so when um when you throw something against it, it makes that kind of really bin binny kind of clunky kind of sound and basically there's a gantry that you can walk up and i kind of thought it's nice that the artists are able to actually throw you know the, the work in themselves so it's like a sacrifice obviously breakdown i was getting rid of all my worldly belongings and that part of that was my art and my friend's art. I didn't want the whole project hijacked by the destruction of art, but also as a practitioner, then I had to destroy literally everything and, and my friends. And there, yeah, there were a number of people, um, artists who I had given me things or I'd bought things off them who were upset about it. And I guess that's the whole issue. I was really unaware of the, the whole thing about in this country, you can't, if you're the legal owner of an artwork, you can actually destroy it. You can't change a sculpture or a painting, you can't add to it and you can't show it in a deflammatory way, but you can destroy it. That kind of cropped up whilst I was doing breakdown and I guess the whole kind of hollabaloo about it kind of intrigued me and I guess as, at a later juncture I was probably always going to revisit that. I've got a website www.art-bin.co.uk so you've got to basically fill out a form to say you're either the, the author of the work or you've sought permission of the author to actually destroy the work. A slightly unlike breakdown, so I think not in all circumstances did I seek the artist's permission. I mean, it's obviously not one, what one normally sees in an art gallery. Art is normally on a wall, on a floor, you walk around it, you, you look at it, suddenly it's not mounted in that way, it's just one thing layered on top of another thing or there's some works that have been thrown in and they've impacted and you see the residue of them as, as they've hit the uh, polycarbonate. So, I mean, it is a performance, basically. And I'm here for six weeks and I'm here to look at people's failures. But, I mean, they're not necessarily failures I would necessarily detect. I mean, you know, I know what my failures are, what I deem them to be failures, but I wouldn't necessarily be able to... Like, I was looking at Damien's work and I was thinking... And I, was, I just, you know, you find yourself saying, oh, that's really good. And so, but I'm happy about that because there's nothing too good to go into the bin.